Hello, welcome to Deck's second film on biz to biz TV. I hope you'll find this as informative as the first one. I'd like to focus on a system which is the foundation stone on which a deck group has built its success. This is the PTS or powder transfer system. The PTS was developed many years ago to do exactly as the name suggests, to transfer powder safely between two points. Yes, there have been, always been vacuum transfer systems, nothing new about that. However, the DEX system does have a number of additional features which we'll discuss later. Firstly, let's look at where the PTS system would be used. The PTS was first developed to feed powders safely into vessels from drums or IBCs. Not such an easy task as you may think. Powders have a propensity to explode, as do vessels under pressure, making powder loading a hazardous operation. The PTS addresses all these points. The DEC PTS system has been developed to not only feed vessels, but reactors and crystallizers, but also to feed numerous processes such as IBCs, hoppers on feeders and blending systems. It will also feed directly into formulation equipment. DEC has also been able to supply these systems for sterile facilities, allowing toxic products to be moved securely and safely throughout the facility without losing sterility. DEC have sold well over 3,000 PTS systems throughout the world, in places like America, the Middle East, China, and of course, Europe. Now let's look at the technology itself. The PTS is a very simple device. It consists of four valves and a vacuum pump to give the product motive force. This is peculiar to the PTS, so it is safe and clean. The product moves through the transfer pipe in a series of slugs. This is known as dense phase transfer. Dense phase processing means that at no time product is allowed to turn into a dust cloud. Instead, it is moved slowly through the transfer pipe. The benefit of this system is twofold. Firstly, the entire system can be emptied. And secondly, and most importantly, using this method removes any risk of explosion. This means that the DEC PTS system can feed into explosive atmospheres and due to the pressure delivery, it can drive products safely into pressure vessels if required, all without any risk from the loading process. The product is also able to move over long distances. The PTS system has transferred product almost 70 meters in one application. This is possible to do not only in a straight line, but also up and down and you are no longer held back by gravity. This DEC dense phase system has revolutionized manufacturing facilities for many of our clients and has given them a major processing and financial benefit. Expanding this a little bit further, let's look at the operation of the PTS. As you've seen, the process is very simple but incredibly effective. The second secret of the DEC system is the filter technology, which has been designed specifically to allow the PTS to transfer powders at a high rate without blocking. The filters come in two forms. One is a special PTFE material. The second is for sterile versions of the system in sintered 316 stainless steel. There are other elements that further enhance the PTS particularly when in use in the pharmaceutical sector. These include the CIP cleaning head. Further enhancements include the lump breaker lance and the suction hopper for use when connected into other isolation systems such as the ISO tube or the ISO charge. In essence, the PTS can be a standalone process or it has the ability to link with or be completely integrated into your facility, whether chemical, pharmaceutical or sterile. The system is also very flexible in material compatibility, size and offload speeds. The PTS technology has now been developed and used on various other DEC family units such as the PTS feeder, the transpatch, the MPTS, the sampling through to the powder flex and the microdosing systems. The DEC powder transfer system is a safe, adaptable system for transporting powder in any environment at an affordable price. 
Having look, worked closely with this technology for some time, I'd say it is the only way you should transport your powder into your process. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time when I'll be talking about micronizing. <laughs>